Yeah. yeah. So hi, Ronnie. Thank you for uh, spending time with us and giving us the tour of uh, Simon Fraser University, SFU. Of course, it's my pleasure. So, like the first question I wanted to ask: um, Why did you like? What was it, your thought process of choosing a university, and like what things you saw in SFU for choosing this? So for me, I chose SFU because. Like in Vancouver, is generally recognized as a pretty good school or pretty highly ranked in Canada. Um, SFU is pretty much like we're known for our undergrad programs. So all our undergrad programs here at SFU, um, there's a lot of like we're very comprehensive, I guess you can say, is that we have like a lot of different programs to choose from, no matter like, what you want to do. You want to do sciences, you want to do arts, you want to do interactive, like technology related. Um, there's a lot of different choices and it's very broad. So um, basically you can... Basically, if you have an interest in something, I'm sure SFU kind of has programs available for that. Um, another good thing about SFU is that it's very convenient to access, like for a lot of students that are around Vancouver, because you have campuses in Surrey, Vancouver, like downtown, and Burnaby. Um, so depending on where your classes, some classes are in Surrey, some classes in Vancouver. But basically, it's pretty accessible from anywhere you are, which is convenient. That's the basically main reason why I chose SFU. And what, what uh, course did you study? So I studied international studies and business. Um, I chose these as because international studies was something just in general growing up, I was really interested in. Um, we talk a lot about like current events, uh, different politics, different security issues around the world. And that just really interests me. Um, and then business, I of course love as well because it's a lot of practical stuff. Like some classes I took in business, um, like we did a class on, it's called MIS, where it just focuses directly on information systems like Excel um, and also talks about like words just like documents and how to use different these systems on the computer just in general business settings so it was really useful um, and then just e economic classes just everyday life just to learn about how the economy works like I, so basically I like SFP because a lot of the classes are very practical um, and it just gives me skills that even if you don't kind of go into specifically a discipline or field that like gives you a specific job like end goal you can use it in a wide breadth of different positions um example like i took basically sfu has um options you take your major and minor like there's a specific classes you need to take but there's also some different choices you can make and then there's also electives so you can just take like they, they make you kind of take like one couple two science classes at least in your undergrad um two writing classes so you get that full broad range of different um, skills. Um. I think uh, because it has so many faculties, yeah. in undergrad you can experience classes. Exactly, you can experience anything. This and it's very like so. If you want to like try different things, it's really easy to try different classes. Sure. And you have uh, that. like a lot of people from around the world, or even in Canada, mm -hmm. or Vancouver, or want to know about what is the process of admissions in the undergrad program. Mm -hmm. So for me specifically speaking, I was a local student, so it was a bit easier. I could. Basically, in grade 12, I would, beginning of grade 12, so usually around, like, the first couple months, you want to apply right away to different universities. Um, for SFU, same thing. You go on the website, admissions. There's, like, a bunch of different links that has, like, a lot of information on there. So, for sure, of course, go on the SFU website, go to admissions. Um, and then there's also, like, a phone number and email. So, you, if you have any questions, you can just, like, email them or phone them, and they'll help you through the process. Um, for, like, say, if you're coming from abroad, it's similar in that sense of the way that you just go on the SFU website and then there's like a specific admissions for international, like specific like helpline. And then there's like specific, I think there's language skills as well. So if you have different languages and you need a bit of help, a bit more, if you want to be a bit more in depth, like understanding of it better, you can go on the website and then you can search like SFU admissions. It has like the full list of all the requirements, like for schooling, um, English requirements. So I know like for coming to SFU, there's an English requirement. Um, if if you're still like don't have that quite requirement, you can even there's options to come to SFU and then start. It's called um, it's called FIC and it's part of the SFU, but it's like a college of SFU. And that there they help international students like get their English kind of level to a certain degree. And then from there, once you complete a couple classes at FIC, you can try to transfer to SFU um, as long as you make that GPA um, average. You make that like I guess that minimum average. Um, so there's a lot of different options for international students, and then there's like a good group of advisors on campus. So they always guide. The last question is: If somebody were coming to SFU mm -hmm. or any college in Burnaby, what are the areas in Burnaby good for student housing or economic or affordable housing for students? So SFU, we have we've been building over the years a lot of um, on-campus housing. So there's a lot of res now. 
Um, that's probably the nicest if you want to like if you're coming from abroad especially like you don't really know the area that well and then it's just easy to have a place kind of ready for you so i usually recommend like if you're in your first year first semester anyway is you go on res housing because it's economical but and it's close to campus and then basically when you first come here it's nice to be able to be on campus be able to like get familiar with everything and then get familiar being involved in different clubs um so that's probably the first one but if you do kind of know the area a little bit a lot of students live just down the mountain because we're all looking on the mountain but a lot of people live like in burnaby like down the mountain so it'd be like low heat area a lot of people live or on hastings street because there's buses that go directly there so that's why a lot of people live in those areas they hop on one bus and they can be on campus in 10 minutes um economically wise though probably the cheapest area off campus is in Burquitlam. Burquitlam is like an up-and-coming area just above low heat and then there's a lot of students living there and that's probably the cheapest area to live um, there's also like we call it university village just outside of campus but on top of the mountain there's a lot of housing as well on there you can find online and rent but rents are usually a little bit higher but it's still pretty good as well because um, that's like basically it's basically on campus housing because you're five minutes walk from the school uh, those are the main areas I would say for Burnaby, um, and then yes, yeah, sir. Uh, so the other places would be Surrey or uh, other areas like uh, South Vancouver. Yes. Yeah, so exactly, it depends like where you most of your classes are, right? So say you most of your classes are in Burnaby, you probably want to be close to Burnaby. But if you have Surrey classes, um, a lot of people live around Surrey Central area because the Surrey Central area is growing a lot as well. Surrey campus is there. You got a lot of new buildings and a lot of there's even rental apartments down that area. So. Um, a lot of students live around there. And then even if you have some classes in Surrey, but you have some classes in Burnaby, you can commute from the Burnaby campus to Surrey, um, from Surrey campus to the Burnaby campus. It's not too far. So a lot of people like living there because you know the SkyTrain and one SkyTrain ride, you can be downtown. Even a lot of people have classes downtown live in Surrey because you hop on the SkyTrain and straight takes you straight to the downtown campus. There's no real transfer either. So Surrey is another good area, like Rahat was saying, that is a bit cheaper. Um, for sure, that's probably, that's really good value if you're okay with commuting a little bit. So that's a really good area as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, we really enjoyed, and now we, after this uh, talk, we'll give you a, a tour around the campus, like the ultimate mm -hmm. tour of uh, Simon Fraser University. Like he will, he literally took me to every place in the university area. So yeah, yeah. So stay tuned for that. Exactly. I hope you enjoy the tour. I mean, SFU is a really good school, and then um, they have a lot of different programs. You can search online. I think we have like so many. I don't know how many faculties exactly, but it's over like 10 faculties and then program wise, I think there's like, there's over like 50, 60 different programs and they have certificates. So I'm sure you'll be something you're interested in. Yeah. Thanks, Roland. You're thanks. welcome. See you. Have a good day.